Hello everybody, this is Di Antinatalist, and uh, today's commentary is going to be about a mom who came into a restaurant and sat um, two booths away from me, and um, her children were very unruly, only because she dared not reprimand them and, you know, keep them occupied or, you know, placate them in some respect. And, um, so anyway, the situation is, it was about 8.15 and I had been at the restaurant for about an hour. And, you know, it was really comfortable because it wasn't very busy. And then they decided to come in. And they didn't sit, like, away from people or in a room where, you know, they should have known better. You know, a lot of times, families, breeders, don't know their place. And their place is away from the bar and away from bar crowds. So, anyway... I don't know, maybe it was segregated just to isolate, um, you know, an, an area that was closed off. I, I don't know that for sure. But all I know is that when she came in, all hell broke loose. So she was seated, seated two booths uh, away from me. And in between was uh, a couple of men came um, you know, after she sat down, after she was there, a couple of men sat, sat there and I kept like turning around. I really thought because the, the noise was so loud, I really thought that she was right behind me and I kept turning around and looking and that's when I saw the two men behind me. Well, the two men decided to up and leave. They sat across the restaurant, far away from Mombi and her two children. And so, I kept hearing like screams, like, ah! Like the most annoying screams. And I was actually FaceTiming somebody and he could hear the screams. And it was just like, ah, ah, ah. Like, can you imagine that kind of shit when you were paying for food and drinks and appetizers and whatnot? So, I got up to see, you know, what, her, what, what was going on at this table. And one child, and they weren't really young either. I mean, I think the boy was seven or eight, and the girl might have been five. The, 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 the girl was all over the mother, like, just kind of climbing on the mom, and, like, on her chest and her neck, and it was just like, the mom was just enabling all of this chaos. And the boy was laying down in the booth. So, um, in amidst the screams and the, you know, the, the noises and the uh, utterances, <clears throat> one thing I want to say to parents, you guys are totally oblivious to anything that happens around you. You think you're a precious little miracle. The light of your world, the light of your universe means something to everybody else. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. Nada. No way, Jose. Your child means nothing. Your child 
is nothing more than traffic. Whether it's current traffic or eventual traffic. When you are in public, people can hear you. People are annoyed by you. And the remaining restaurant staff is paying more than you are for kitty meals or, you know, your dinner plus your kids' meals for free. You are a parasite. Yeah. You and your kids are parasites. Because you depend on society. The majority of you send your kids to public school. And um, public schools are nothing but government assistance. (sighs) When you go to hotels and restaurants, you get perks. That you shouldn't be getting. You get perks that you did not deserve. Frequent flyers deserve perks. You're not a frequent flyer. You're just a consumer and an exploiter. So, you know, this child of yours that causes so much chaos... In a public setting that you're totally oblivious of. And of course these people aren't even watching my video. But you're just extremely oblivious. You're just extremely selfish. And you earned the child that you're going to get. That you've raised. You've earned every bit of it. Because the joke is on you. What goes around comes around.